Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog. I am Ashley, if you are new and if you are new, please go ahead and stop what you're doing. Do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and I can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular. So y'all, I'm coming in because we got to talk a little fashion talk as we typically do. So I was just looking at um, this boot, shoe boot. I don't know if we're going to call it a shoe boot, if we're going to call it a faux pump, or we're, are we going to call it a prosthetic a prosthetic of a prosthetic are we gonna call it it's getting prosthetic to me but uh we have to talk about the boot that has went viral this week which is the louis vuitton i think they call it they're calling it the illusion boot if i'm not mistaken um of course i'm gonna have it inserted right here for us to reference but basically this shoe boot pump wannabe situation has of course gone viral this week because it's absolutely absurd and absolutely ridiculous. Um, even as a girl who, <laughs> I would love to, I can't wait to see what y'all got to say about this shoe. Um, about this shoe boot, um, what a prosthetic, whatever it's given. Um, but I am somebody who enjoys fashion. Avant-garde, haute couture, uh, things that are not necessary, things that are sometimes even camp, if you will. Um, definitely, I like some. I like things that are not traditionally, um, you know, beautiful to the you know regular person. However, this shit is ridiculous. This is not fashion, <laughs> um, and it, quite honestly, you can get this look. If this if this is the look that you're going for, you can get this look for so much less. You know why? Because you can absolutely just go ahead and put on a pair of white tube socks and some cheap ass black pumps or some expensive whatever some black pumps and some white tube socks tube socks and you can go on about your business for much less than i think the retail for this boot is like 24.70 so almost 2500 let's just say 3k <laughs> to look this bad it's ridiculous at this point like louis vuitton at this point like what is are y'all y'all trolling us you are trolling us because you know that somebody's gonna buy this shit I think that's why like what is this about it's hilarious and then uh, I thought initially when I saw the uh, post I think I saw it on business of fashion or on fashion file one of them Instagram fashion pages I saw uh, this shoe boot on and um, initially I was like okay well maybe it, it obviously it looks ridiculous but I was like well, maybe it's going viral because of the skin tone on the initial uh, image that I saw I'm like why would they not only is this a horrible looking situation, but everybody's skin is not this pale. So then of course I saw that it comes in a multitude or in multiple shades. So they also have this one. <laughs> this shit is so ridiculous. They also have one that is brown girl or uh, that is for the people, uh, for brown girls like myself. So. Um, even in that tone, even in that shade of melanin, it still looks absolutely ridiculous. I'm like, are you, I just can't believe that this is a thing for 2470 plus tax. Like, and what's funny is I saw the girl, Natalie Nunn from Bad Girls Club. But as I was sitting there thinking like, who could pull this off? Like maybe like one of the, the fashion girls, like a Rihanna or something like that. But I don't even think Rihanna, I think Rihanna... Uh, she likes some of the things that a typical person would not wear, but at the same time, she's a fashion girl. So she's not about to, I, this is not fashion. This is just, you know, ridiculous. This is a trolling situation. But anyway, so I'm sitting, I was, the, I was like, who would wear this shoe boot situation? And then I saw Natalie Nunn from the Bad Girls Club, like alumni. She posted the other day that she bought the boot and she thought it was cute to wear for some holiday events or some holiday uh dinners or soirees or what have you obviously again this she is not a fashion girl but i just thought it was so funny that her of all people she's the first person that i saw that had actually owned the boot or who bought the boot so i said that just lets you know how much more ridiculous this particular boot is but girl <laughs> Anyway, I digress. I just had to go over. I literally just saw this post, so I was about to film film my intro. So I just had to talk to y'all about that. And I would love to know your opinion on this shoe boot situation. Would you wear it? Like, even if you were daring and you were just, you know, it was a 
in what event would you wear it if you were to wear it or is it as ridiculous uh, to you as it is to me? Because I would love to know because I can't believe that y'all actually wasted your skin. My bad, of course I just got cut off. But anyway, out of all people, it was just so funny to me that Natalie Nunn of all the girls were the first. Not that it's an accomplishment, <laughs> but uh, it just goes to show how awful the shoe is. How about that? The shoe boot. And also it reminded me, the reason why I said prosthetic, not that there's anything funny about a person that is wearing or has a prosthetic, but it reminded me as soon as I saw this, I gotta straighten this up a little bit y'all, my bad. Um, when I saw this, I immediately thought of, I don't know if you guys ever saw the first season of, I think it was the first season of The Housewives of New York. So there was this lady on there, her name was Aviva and she had a prosthetic leg. And they got into it. There Again, there's nothing f remotely funny about the fact that this lady had a prosthetic leg. However, she had got into it with somebody at a dinner party. And the lady took her leg off, girl, and she threw it. <laughs> so that part was funny and very much uh, dramatic and very much uh, what the Real Housewives was in its essence when it, <laughs> when it was initially started. But... But yeah, so anyway, this shoe is horrible. The shoe boot situation is horrible. I don't care. I would love to see somebody like a real fashion girl style it. And I'm sure some influencer is gonna be gifted them and they'll probably be worn just like those big ass uh, Mario Brothers, like those, those red moon boots that came out a few months ago that went super viral and they were hideous. Um, I'm sure some influencer is going to be gifted these, but for somebody to spend their hard-earned money just to look crazy when you can just, again, throw on a, a pair of tube socks and a black pair of pumps and a skirt and keep that shit pushing, then, you know, it is what it is. Uh, in this recession or and with this inflation, I'm surprised that people have money to, to waste on such a horrible shoe. But anyway... I digress, enough talking, <laughs> but I did have to talk to y'all about this hideous boot. At this point, it feels like the fashion houses are trolling us because it's like, they it's almost like we know you're going to buy it. Like, we know the girls, it doesn't matter what we put out. We can put out some absolute heinous bull crap and the girls, somebody's still going to buy it. It's still going to go viral. You guys, we're giving you whatever we want to give you because you're still going to indulge. And it's almost like, we can probably show you as a consumer better than we can tell you. We don't want this bullshit. <laughs> All these fashion houses are like copying each other. Everybody's coming out with like a multi-pouch, multi, multi um, like the Louis Vuitton multi-pouch. Everybody has one of those. Everybody has big ass logo earrings. Everybody has a loafer. Like literally everybody's coming out with the same shit. It's almost like nobody really has their own brand identity anymore. But that's for a whole nother video for a whole nother topic. Let me um, stop talking y'all's ears off. If you are <laughs> a returning subscriber again, hey girl, hey or hey boy, hey, thank you so much for coming back. If you're new again, before we get into this thing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your girl because we are almost at uh, monetization over here. Not that that's the goal, we, we're doing this for the love, but it would be nice to be monetized. So help the girl out. <laughs> <laughs> and with that being said, let's get into the actual vlog. So you guys, I have a package in that I actually, when I say I stocked this package today, well, it came, I got a notification that it was coming um, from my friend. Shout out to my friend who knows who she is. Thank you so much for being so sweet always and just and beyond just um, this gift being an actual friend. <laughs> so shout out to her. But you guys, like, so they said that they shipped this package. It was, they said that it was delivered. So it was delivered and then they didn't even send like an Amazon locker code, which they normally do. And then they said it was at the, uh, at the main office. It wasn't down there. I had to call the locker support line to get the code. Like whoever had to go through all of that. But anyway, with all that being said, let's open it because I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's open the girl. First of all, a lot of times when most of the times, if it, if they do it the right way, these luxury houses, the experience is obviously within the product that you purchase, but the packaging 
is very, very important. And those details is what sets a lot of this designer shit apart. But anyway, within the box, of course, they send over a shopping bag, which I think is so cute. And of course, they have these. Uh, yeah, you know, this ain't getting thrown away. This thing is given very much reusable. Yeah, so just in case you decide that you want to re-gift this, we're going to send this to you in the packaging. We're going to give you the gift card that you already personalized. And we're also going to give you the bag so you don't have to go out and buy your own bag. Okay? And well, obviously, it's already coming in the box. So what I got in this lovely packaging um, is the Saint Laurent water bottle. I think you can also fill it up with like cold brew um coffee and or tea and or whatever your beverage of choice is and i'm sure she is going to stay you know very much so cold honey so i'm so excited thank you so much to my girl i needed me a pick me up and um when you got friends in your life who really care about you and understand what type of girl you are and the things that you like <laughs> that is so sweet but thank you so much i absolutely love this and just know that i'm about to start using her asap like she actually might be yeah like literally asap i'm about to rinse this out so i just wanted to show you guys i know this is not a my typical floral arrangement of roses or hydrangeas however yeah i know i love some free shit so Publix sent me an email saying that, oh, excuse me, y'all got the hiccups, don't tell nobody. Uh, Publix sent me an email saying that it is my anniversary of having the Publix app. I always tell y'all, download your apps for your discounts. But anyway, they had a free, this is called the Salsa Bouquet, apparently. So this was free. And I was like, oh, even though I'm not a daisy girl, I'm coming to get my free bouquet. And it's just something about, you know, fresh flowers that just make me happy. Even more so when they free. So I got all my Black Friday stuff in two days. So of course we're going to do um, a haul. I guess we're gonna call this a Black Friday haul. Um, so I have, oh, Nate, it's a lot of the usual suspects. All the usual suspects actually. So we have Old Navy here. I think that this should be Forever 21 because I only bought, yeah, Forever 21, Sephora, as well as Zara. Zara sale wasn't amazing, but I had a gift card, so it made it a little bit better. But they only had like 40% off of silk. But they had a lot of stuff that was 40% off, but they didn't have like the entire site like a lot of these people do. But um, I think Old Navy had like 50% off. I actually already had some stuff in my cart on Old Navy, so I was going to get it regardless, but they always have sales for the most part. Um, so Old Navy, Sephora had like, I think it was some other shit. I can't even remember um, what the Sephora discount was. I know what products they are, but, um, and then of course for, um, Forever 21 had 50% um, off as well, so let's get into the unboxings okay so we're gonna start first with the sephora package and all i picked up was the dr dennis gross you already know alpha beta universal daily pilling pads the reason why i got this alexa pause alexa pause that's my shit though i only want to expose your life to the final thing anyway um <laughs> that's my song y'all that's like one of my favorite songs anyway um i picked this up because number one it was 15 dollars, and the value is it has 10 treatments you know how expensive these are so i actually picked up this one during the sephora sale and it was 20 dollars minus 20 percent however i'm sending this shit back you know why i'm taking it back because first of all i have not used it since i bought it um secondly it was $20 minus 20%, so whatever that equals to. So it was more than this, and it has five treatments versus 10 treatments. So I honestly feel like they set us up. Like, why would y'all, like, it's, it's a setup. So with that being said, you'll be receiving this back, Sephora. Secondly, I picked up this um, topical, this faded cream by Topicals. No, it's serum. I thought it was a cream, girl. I really thought this was a cream, y'all. 
um i thought it was like a faded cream brightening so i don't think this is what i ordered this is what i ordered this is what i ordered it comes in this tube so i guess that's why i thought it was a cream this was on sale brightening and clearing i see a lot of the girlies on tiktok a lot of the black girlies say that they use this to help with discoloration so with that being said we'll certainly be um giving that a try i think that was on sale for like girl don't give me the line maybe ten dollars fourteen dollars or something like that and then of course these are samples so i got this i love gear lime so i'm sure this smells good mandarin basilic let's see what it smells like it smells like mandarin and then i didn't even you know how they just give you whatever they want but this is maison louis marie whoever she is and it's a oil so yeah so that's all i picked up from sephora and like i said this one right here is going back because y'all play too damn much how y'all gonna come out with the same thing with double the treatments for five dollars less the very next like they playing too many games at sephora and i don't appreciate that shit okay guys so second package we're going to open is going to be the old navy package and there oh girl i'm in her hidden stuff <laughs> so there's quite a bit um there's a few different pieces in here of course they're all in this plastic but um uh, well yeah i don't care about these but these are some i love their panties so i got some high-rise briefs um they were on sale for like two dollars i got this um black lace sports bra um yeah yeah i don't care about the unmentionables so these two unmentionables and i love a high rise uh, uh uh what you call it control top uh high brief girl so there's that and i love it in a nude color as well um also i got some suiting so i picked this up i saw this in um I've been wanting like a hot pink suit for quite some time actually so I saw they had one I went in the store actually I think I showed it on the vlog from probably last week or the week before that I actually went in Old Navy to look for this suit and then also look for these pants so let me take them out the plastic and show y'all actually y'all I might not clearly I'm not the smartest girl I'm over here cooking chili and I think I might have just got something on this jacket but I oh girl i really think i don't know if it's water because i did just wash my hands but anyway so this is the blazer i got it in an extra large um look at this shit y'all i really just got stuff on this jacket i hope it's water i hope it clears up but if it's not i might take it back and be like y'all sent it to me no, i ain't gonna do that actually i'll take it to the cleaners but anyway so it's this uh magenta ish blazer um the regular price was like $50. I got it on sale for like $24. So you can't beat that. It looks really cute on. I actually tried it on in the store like two weeks ago. So in addition to, and I'm gonna put it on my clothing rack so y'all can see it better. So I also picked up the matching pant. I think these were $24 too. So basically in the regular price was $50 for both pieces. So I pretty much got uh, both, uh, both for the price of one. It was like BOGO. So there's that. And then, oh girl, I am over here struggling with the one hand. And then I also got like these kind of like dress, they're like track pants, but they're a little bit more dressy. And what I'm not about to do is get no red or nothing on this white. So anyway, they're like these nylon high-waisted trousers. Again, I did show you guys these when I was in a store a couple of weeks ago. I tried them on. I picked these up in a size large. Yeah, size large. I probably could have went with a medium for these because they're a little oversized, but they're super cute. So they're kind of like these, like, you know, like the track pants or whatever, but they're a little bit more dressy, like a high rise trouser. So they have the stripe on the side. So I got them in black and then I also picked them up in green and they are straight legs. And what's crazy is these are also, I think, on the site, $49.99. And they have pockets, too. So I love pockets. So on the site, these are like $49.99, but they were 50% off on the website. So they were 20, 
but that was on Black Friday. How about I went on a site like two days ago and they were like $22. So, you know, I promptly called Old Navy and requested for them to give me a price adjustment and they gave me $15 back. I had time for that because don't play with me. How the hell y'all Black Friday price is more than like a random Tuesday? But yeah, so those are the pieces I picked up from Old Navy and then I'll show you what I got from the other stores. Okay, so this is the um suit on and i think it was water because i don't see those spots anymore uh luckily and um so it's gonna be like an oversized fit of course extra large pretty good quality i would say for a 50 dollars suit and then here are the pants so i also got these in an extra large so this should be cute with like you know, dress it up or dress it down after it's themed. Oh, and then also here are those pants. I need some uh some more of my like velvet hangers <laughs> because uh y'all still haven't worn these fashion over jeans. I need to wear those next weekend. Anyway, these are those pants. So that is the black pair with the white stripe. And then the green pair. They also have like a khaki pair with a white stripe. And then a navy navy pair with a white stripe. I'm pretty... Yeah, I'm thinking I'm probably going to get picked those up too. I love this jacket. You know I love that jean jacket. But yeah, that's all. So let's see what's going on with this Zara package next. Of course, this box is pretty huge. So hopefully I can get this open with one hand. We'll see. So I got this, what they call the bomber sweater. So it's in this gray color with these buttons. This should be interesting. It's super thick. I can tell you that right now. So that was the retail price and then I got 40% off. I think it was $35. I might have got 50% off because I'm pretty confident it was 30, maybe 35.90, something like that um so she is a thick 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 girl wowzers trousers and like i said they call her the gray bomber oh okay that's cute so ooh, it's kind of like itchy almost so i got it in a size large <clears throat> Excuse me, so this is what the sleeves are given. And I'll, I like how it has, I'm gonna try it on. Um, but yeah, that's cute. And then I also got two pair of shoes. So let's see if I can get these open with um, one hand. So this is the first pair. I barely remember what they even look like. So. But I want to say it was like $30 each. So this one comes in a dust box or dust bag. <laughs> and I'm struggling. Little kitten, little kitten baby. Little new delusion and black kitten situation. I thought that would be cute. But for the price I paid, it was definitely cute. So that's the retail, and then I got 40% off of that. So like I said, I wanna say they were like $30. I'll pull them out the box and show you in a better angle. But I thought those were cute with the nude and the black. <clears throat> and then this shoe, which came in a box. I'm gonna need my other hand, hold on. So this is the other shoe. Retail on this was $79.90. I wanna say I paid, I thought I paid $30. Maybe I paid $50 for this one. I think these are real suede. Another little kitten girl. I just think these little kittens are cute. And these are suede and they have like this tie. So you tie them up a little bit. Um, with a um, pointy toe. I thought that would be cute with like a little sweater dress or something in the um, winter. Let me pull these out so y'all can see them better because I am 
not given the good angles. <laughs> So again, these are the shoes. I know kitten or kitten heels are not for everybody, but I think um, with, a, with like a, especially like my like wide leg pants, you really can't see the, um, when, when they're long, the pants are long, you can't really see the heel anyway. So, um, or the shoes. So I'm more so going for the front, but um, so if we can make it comfy and if we can get them for $30, why not? So again, I thought these were super cute with the um, with the nude and the clear and the black, and then this black, this uh, suede one with these little ties at the ankle. Um, so yeah, cute little Zara pickups for the Lolo for Black Friday. So that is the shoe, the clear one. Cute little church lady, you know. You know, like I said, even with my pajamas, you can't really see the hill anyway, so. I like them, I think they're cute. Oops. Here are the other shoes. So basically, you might as well just say this is a flat for the most part. Um, but these are even cuter. I think I even like these even better. But yeah, so we like a cute little kitten. Pointy toes are back apparently. Y'all, I did the um the foot mask two weeks ago and I'm still peeling, so that's not <laughs> so ignore that. I am peeling on my ankles as well as my feet, but I'll have new skin here shortly. Yeah, so again, this is the sweater. What I like about it is, of course, I like the fact that it's gray, but I like the bomber style with um, these pockets. So that's really cute. But like I said, this is super thick. So it's almost given like this is a jacket <laughs> sort of situation. And then, of course, it's oversized because you see how big it is. And this is a size large. So anyway, super excited about this. And um, I need to try it on. I don't know if I'm going to try it on in this vlog, but I have a feeling that you're going to be seeing this a lot this summer. I mean, <laughs> this winter, because this is basically like a jacket or a coat. So it's perfect for Atlanta. Yeah. So today is Saturday. <laughs> and as you guys know, on Saturdays, I typically, you know, hit the streets, do all of my little fun stuff, errands, brunch whatever but look what the day is giving like typically you can see this big ass like this is y'all can't see no buildings like it is super foggy like it is crazy foggy and um i'm still gonna do my errands <laughs> i'm still hitting the streets because this is like the only day that i get to really you know do all the things but literally this is not the quality of my camera this is how the sky is like that's a skyscraper and you can't even see it like this is some of the thickest fog i've ever seen in my life but we gonna make it do what it do so i forgot to talk to y'all about king ti's son Woo! that was some shit <laughs> let's just say that was some shit i was initially just like you know what this little boy is super disrespectful he always is some shit um and i was kind of not necessarily blaming him for the snafu or the um i was just thinking like oh my god you talk to your parent crazy in public like these are the consequences of that act right i'm from an 80s baby like never would it ever have been okay to, and i'm a black 80s baby at that not that that i mean i don't think actually it don't even matter actually i take that back it doesn't matter nobody who's allowed to disrespect their parents in my millennial age bracket and above so initially i was definitely you know saying this this little dude is disrespectful however now that i have digested more of the story or more of the um the situation i'm like you know what 
he's crying out for help he needs there's therapy that's needed in this situation and everybody grows up differently so people are and he's also the key word is when i started i said a little boy even though he's grown he's still a little ass boy so with that being said he's he's crying out for help to a certain extent and he's trying to to me it sounds like he wanted to spend more time with his parents or i don't know i hope i'm making sense but basically i think they all need therapy i think that's that's basically what i'm trying to say so i'm out here and i'm hungry and i'm looking for some lunch so i came to windy hill because i said i can either go to Papa Do's or Papa Cito's. So I really am having a difficult time deciding, but I'm pretty confident that some fajitas is gonna hit the spot actually. So let's just do Papa Cito's drop. Yeah, fajitas always be hidden. You already know what I want. It's candle day. So you know where I'm at. So apparently they have some new releases today. They have winter candy apple, but something I feel like they had that before. I don't know. I've heard of that before. Oh, luminous. Let's see what this smells like. So this is the matching candle to that one um, new scent that they had that I said went really good with IT Pray, the Louis Vuitton scent. So the candle is a little, I don't really like the package. Oh, pumpkin pecan waffles. You know, I gotta get me one of these. I know some people love it. Some people hate it. It will always be one of my favorites. Period. I love her. Mary Cookie. So this is one of the new scents. I was like super eager, eager to smell this because it sounds amazing, right? Like white chocolate macadamia. You cannot smell this. I could not smell it at all. Yeah, that one you can't smell. This is another one of the new ones though. I mean, I guess saying excuse me these days is like so foreign. However, this is another one of the new ones. And this one, for some reason, oh, here it goes. This one is caramel frappuccino. You can smell this one, but as you can see, I've already checked out, so I'm not about to turn around now. But, um, and then this is another one of the new ones. Let's see what this one is. I think it's pink, yep, pink, hot pink cocoa, which is a really cute name. And the packaging on these is really cute too, actually. That one smells really good. I was gonna say it's kind of faint initially, but it actually smells really good. So out of the, th the three new ones, I would go caramel frappuccino and pink, hot pink cocoa. Those will be my picks. Everybody's looking at me filming too, but you know I don't give a shit. So you know, Atlantic Station normally does it up pretty nicely for the Christmas decorations, and this year is no exception. They have the ice skating rink up, which of course it's, I think. So this is the ice skating rink and it's really warm today it's like 60 something degrees so i don't know if that's the reason why nobody's over there skating right now but nobody's over there oh they got some cho hot chocolate vendor so they got this hot chocolate vendor who is not open yet maybe they turn up at night 
This Sephora is so big. So freaking happy. There's a Sephora at Atlantic Station now. Bruh. That's, that's a win because they have Atlantic Station needs to step their game up and this is a good start. So of course I wanted to try the new Kaali Eden. So this is another Eden. So this one is Eden Sparkling Lychee 39. So let's smell her and see what she's giving. I really, really like it. Like I really like it. I see why people say it's a spring summer scent though. Of course, everybody's looking. Uh, I also wanted to smell Ginger Biscuit by Jo Malone because I hear so many things about it. So let's smell her. I've heard good and bad things. So look who's back this year at Atlantic Station, you guys. I don't know if y'all remember last year's vlog i posted these cute ass deers i absolutely love them and they are back and they are still stupid as cute this is comment so they typically have oh there's another one over there but this is common he's the flyest i don't care and so they have this sign where they encourage you to take a selfie with comment he's so cute this guy is what they call broke down sharp. Look at his fit. Do you see this man? You know, me and the boy were reunited, and it feels so a quick candle day. I guess we can call it a haul. I got five. I only intended on getting four because I did not get the freaking coupon. Um, some people had like a 10 off of 40 or a 10 off of 30. I didn't have any coupons. Now, I don't know if that's because I recently spent the coupon. I don't know, but I wasn't feeling that shit. But anyway, I got one more than what I intended on getting. So, and these are the sprays from Sephora. Oh, lychee, Kaali lychee, loved it, but it's definitely given spring summer. But I also think that you can mix it in with some more sultry, gourmand, um, uh, fall winter scents. But I like it. I don't know if it lasts because you know that's something that Kaali is kind of kind of known for. So I guess this is a fragrance review slash Bath and Body Works candle day haul, girl. But anyway, lychee, I liked it. It smells really good. Um, and then I also smell pistachio, which is this one right here. I liked it, but I didn't love it as much as lychee. Lychee was given, but this one is sexy. Lychee isn't necessarily, isn't necessarily sexy. I could see people saying that the Kaali lychee perfume is given a uh, body spray to a certain extent because it's that is fruity. But this pistachio is very much sexy. I like that. And then ginger biscuit by joe malone is this last one i did not love it it's okay but i did not love it but anyway let's go ahead and get into the candle haul girl so we can shut this uh this trunk y'all my trunk always dirty but don't worry about it so i picked up coffee and whiskey which is one of my faves and i also like the body cream of that what is this one? Oh god i can't even get it out this one, oh, pecan pumpkin waffles. Pumpkin pecan waffles. Like I said, that's one I always will love. People either love it or they hate it. I'm somebody who actually loves it. Um, and it's very much festive. I picked up Palo Santo. This is the fifth one that I picked up. They never have this. And I heard people say that it smells like Santo 33 or 26, whichever one, by um by Le Labo. So and yeah, I love the diffuser oil. So that's why I picked this up. And that was the fifth uh, candle that I did not intend on getting until I got to the checkout. This one is one of those Christmas ones. So this one is sugared snickerdoodle. This one smelled really good. I got that almost as soon as I walked in the dough. Girl, I'm trying to wash my back in this freaking parking garage and do a haul at the same time so forgive me um so that's why i'm struggling girl and then the last one is i think this is lakeside morning yeah lakeside morning which is like a fresh crisp linen and i love that type of shit so 
those are my pickups they give you this cute reusable bag that i will most certainly be reusing and i thought that was cute so so yeah that's what i got bath and body works and my car dirty <laughs> So you guys, I gotta put y'all on. I might be late cause I'm tardy and truant quite often. Uh, however, we love a good cocktail, but we especially love a good cocktail when it is low calorie. <laughs> so we can't be, um, you know, wasting our calories on sugar. So of course I always drink with my, my drink of choice when I'm making a cocktail, of course it's Tito's. So I love Tito's. I love my fresh lime. I always got to have my fresh lime. How cute is my little bow? I got this as a triple set from TJ Maxx like a few months ago. And I absolutely love this little thing. But anyway. So anyway. So of course I typically get like Ocean Spray, Diet Cranberry Grape or whatever there. You know they got a million cranberry uh, uh, hybrids with Ocean Spray that or florida natural strawberry lemonade but tropicana they always have some juices that i want to try but they didn't I, they didn't have zero sugar but now they do so i started the other day with this one which was the summer splash punch super good but of course i finished it and then now i moved on to the passion fruit lemonade escape she's that girl so that's what i'm drinking tonight this is the cocktail it is tito's with that Tropicana Passion Fruit Lemonade Escape Fresh Lime. And um, that's the vibe for Saturday Night Football cocktail. So you guys, I have been craving chili so bad. I had to, I had to make some. <laughs> so, ooh, girl. The smoke is smoking. But um, this is what the chili is given. I did it with some ground sirloin, some um, kidney beans, onions, bell peppers, all the good stuff. And, of course, I also had to make some cornbread. And I already had to take me a slice, girl. Some honey butter cornbread. And I don't, I'm not a jiffy girl, so I use crusties. And I love crusties with the real butter and the honey on top. But, yeah, let me plate that thing up and show you what it's giving. So this is what the chili is given. Yeah, you know I need two pieces of cornbread with mine is cheat day. For the for the thick girls. And I love sour cream, green onion, a little sargento shredded cheese. And I made it, like I said, with grass sirloin. And my cute bow. So it's vibes. Hey you guys, so I'm just coming to check well, I'm coming in to close off this week's vlog before I forget. It has been um, a long day. I've been out. I got a late start out today. I didn't really get out until like 2 p.m. I was thinking that I wasn't even going to get any candles because I'm like, for me to go out on at 2 o'clock at Atlantic Station, there's going to be a line. It's not even going to be worth it. But girl, when I went to Bath and Body Works, there was really no line. It wasn't a ton of people. It wasn't like nowhere near the pandemonium that I expected. So that worked out pretty good for me. Um, so I did pick up my candles like I showed you guys a couple of clicks ago. I mean a couple of clips ago So I was able to get that of course. I went to Papacitos Of course I came oh, well, I had made the chili earlier in the day So that is of course what I'll be eating this evening um, And then I also was looking into going to see the Renaissance concert movie documentary extravaganza However, I thought initially I was like, I know it's not even going to be no seats available this weekend, but I was able to find a seat that was like at Phipps or they, they even had some seats at Cobb Parkway. The only reason why I decided not to go, and y'all know how much I love the Queen and y'all know how I was going crazy about the concert. But when I saw that the film was like three hours long, I, I know me and me being in a theater for three hours is Oh, that's that's um, that's a that's beyond ambitious for me. Let's just say that. So I don't know. I might see it next weekend, but honestly, I might also wait for it to come like on demand or HBO or Netflix or Amazon Prime, something like that. Because I just don't. It looks amazing, though. I've heard nothing but good reviews from the people, like on TikTok, on Instagram. Everybody says it's extremely inspiring and um, 
that's what I keep like I think they had like a hundred percent on rotten tomatoes something crazy like that too what is my cousin talking about Ay ay ay. Anyway, I'm looking at my text message, y'all. My bad. But anyway, so I really want to see the movie because not only am I a fan, but I also heard the movie is really good. But like I said, for me to sit in the movie theater for three hours, I'm not even gonna play myself and spend. It's almost it's like twenty eight dollars, like thirty dollars. You might as well say. But they had some cute ass merch, like the popcorn tin. When I saw the girls getting their merch, I was like, listen, Beyonce. Somebody said on TikTok. At this point, she's one of their dependents because they've given her so much money over this year. And I kind of feel the same way, which is why I did not order the perfume because I was like, I'm not paying that much for a blind buy. Kind of glad I didn't because I did smell it last week and it was good. But I'm, I'm not a big rose girl. So because of that, I don't necessarily have to have it in my collection. But some of this merch from the documentary from the movie theater, I want it. But I'm like, girl, I have like four or five t-shirts from the concert. I went to the concert. At this point, the Carter's uh, fund Foundation has been fully funded as it pertains to this household. So, um, so anyway, I'm going to see the movie eventually, but I just don't know if I'm going to see it in theaters. Did you guys go see it? If so, please comment down below. Let me know. Did you like it? Did you love it? How did you feel about it? um let me stop rambling i like i said i'm tired it's been a long day so if you made it to the end of the vlog thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys and dolls in the next vlog